Norath. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Night Grind with the Adventure Squad. This is level 57 edition. As you can see while we're away, we had those prismatic dyes delivered and everyone got a new color. So that way we can differentiate everyone a little bit easier and everyone doesn't look orange. So what we're gonna do here is run back over here and get our arrows. Should throw some throw some haste out to everybody and how about throw out some invites as well. Alright, we have the arrows. Do our invites. Get everyone in the group and then we'll just throw out some haste and some clarity and some regen and then we'll get going. So here we go. We got Terra Bell. Fixed her up all white. I think that was the original color of Chanters. Back with the uh, Planes of Power, or uh, like the Plane of Fear and all that. I'm not sure. I tried to pick the colors that they were, but I'm pretty sure blue over here. I believe blue was Bards, but it's okay. Now we'll throw the casters. We'll get them some clarity. Couple more to go. We'll hit charge up, and then Terra Bell can hit herself. Excellent. Do our group regen. Do our group sow. There we go. Everyone is ready. So we'll just start pulling. We're going to go into the factory. So it's really just right around the corner here. And. Uh, once we get there, there'll be level 60 mobs inside. I don't know. Give us something to do. Maybe we can level up to 58 today. But these outside, this trash stuff is going to be a little bit low. Probably have to throw a snare on here. See if it takes this time. The Duff hasn't been very good at keeping aggro lately. To work on that. I'm sure, it's not the Duff's fault. The aggro range on this stuff is kind of large, so we might get a couple, especially a little bit further down. That's pretty much where the ramp is to go up into the factory, so we're definitely going to get several. There it comes. Let's try our taunt and our bellow. Maybe we'll add that to our, our assist button. That way, when we uh, do our pull, we already take care of it. Well, looks like we are. Doing taunt and bellow. Ability three and five. Go. 
great. Going through pretty easy. Ooh, still attacking. Let's try to pull two. up this erratic model here on the way in. There we go. Excellent. Looks like the Duff was the one still attacking. Alright. It's going to give Terra Bell a little something to do. Put one to sleep. Good to see if we can put these guys down anyway. There we go. Good. Nice to know what you can and can't mesmerize. Duff could use a heal. There we go, keep an aggro. Back. There we are. Jaja is the only one who didn't get a new color because the leather doesn't look all that great. I'm not super jazzed with Aaliyah here in the blue, but. At least they're all different, so that's cool. Get her in position. Let's see, I think we made it all the way to the entrance. Ah, there's a couple here still. Pull that guy. And we'll get this one. We'll get on the obsolete model, it's the higher level. Take care of that first. If it gets here, we're a little bit slow. There we go. Good Tara Bell doing her work. And it looks like it did work. Excellent. Duff, she could use a heal again. Let's heal her again. To keep her full. Changing targets. Erratic model going down. Let's put the rusted model to sleep. There we go. There we go. See if we get its attention. I can't even tell which way it's facing did not get its attention. There we go. We'll put this down and then we have two tin soldiers, tin guards, tin something up at the doorway. Those are going to start to become our higher level tunes. Or mobs that we need to kill. But we're definitely going to get two of them. But I might be able to use Harmony. <clears throat> I 
Let's see, let's get Harmony and Nature going. This is an outdoor zone. No sense of bringing in two high level mobs on the first pull. Respawn time is, you know, like 20 minutes here or so. Tin soldier. See, can we see it from here? Cannot. Oh, target's unaffected. There we go. Excellent. Well, we'll pull them back. We'll take care of them. Let's see what our con is. Level 50. These guys aren't crazy. Here they come. There's one, two, stacked right on top of each other. Let's put them to sleep. Your target cannot be mesmerized, but that's not awesome. Now we're gonna fight both of them. Can it be slowed? Arabelle, let's use a heal. on this one. Pretty good. Tarabelle needs a heal again. <coughs> I don't like it when the mobs go everywhere. Sealed Rosette. There we go. Looking good. Great. Put that down. Let's get over here. We'll get everybody on auto follow. We'll get inside of the factory. I think once we get inside, we're going to have to shrink the duff down. We've got a lot of room out here to move, so our being so large doesn't really affect anyone. But let's just do it now. Use those wild lord boots. Excellent. Everyone's following, so here we go. They can't make it up. Just can't do it. No, not with all this gear. Can't do it. What are they doing? Way down here. That's awesome. They've scattered so much that they've lost auto follow. Well, it looks like we're just going to go in anyway then. For 
not holding the key. Well, that's interesting. I don't know how to get the key. I wonder if we get it from this cat by doing his little quest. There we go, we got defective clockwork. Went the wrong way. Not that fast. Let's just get on it. And we'll bring everyone else back. Where did Terabell run off to? Well, that's was pretty close. Less disappointing that we can't get in if we don't have the key. Would have really liked to have worked on that. Let's see, let's take a look. How far do we have to follow that guy? A look at the map. Pretty much the whole zone. I do not want to do that. Running all six through this area. No, thank you. Just play it old school here and just grind for a little bit. And we'll leave. There we go. Just get everyone going. Do everything. Terra Bell, she can put these things to sleep. Great. Duff could use a heal. Drizette was doing, but she wasn't doing anything. There we go. Get on this obsolete model. Get our taunt and bellow going. Use a heal again, as usual. That's what we wanted. If she always needs a heal, then I think she's getting the aggro the way she needs to. These guys are starting to respawn. Excellent.
Getting a bit of a mess here. It's the hard part about leaving everything on the corpse. They really start building up. I don't want to start using hide corpse. Well, I might have to. Got everyone's skill going up. Defense, triple attack. Flying kick for Leah. Oh, that's pretty great. That's good to see. Get the skills better. Maybe be able to kill one of those dragons pretty soon. That would be pretty good. Well, we jumped a gun on our attacking. It'll be okay. Put one to sleep. That didn't work. Said it can't be mesmerized, but yet it is. That's weird. Oh, we'll kill it anyway. Alright, the Duff could use a heal. This zone isn't as fun as Sibyllis was. Even though the, the mobs were a little bit lower, it's just more fun being down inside of a dungeon. Glad these things don't run away. Don't have to keep snare on everything constantly. That helps out. Don't forget to do it all the time anyway. Everyone's health still looking good. Two here. I hope so. Doesn't look like it. That's crazy. They were right next to each other. going. Let's heal the Duff. I think the Duff is working better in her new red gear. better, that's for sure.
Well, let's see if we can get this guy now. Seem to be very interested in giving some aggro once we get a little bit closer, but not when you pull his friend, he didn't care. Kind of low key. Let's see what kind of EXP we've got. 33%. That's pretty good. Getting about, you know, one and a half on average per kill. So that's pretty good. Started off the day at, I think it was 9%. Play their cards right. Swing our swords right. Might get a level. Teal the duff. Let's get in there. Get a little more taunt going. All right, let's heal Jaja. And we'll run Drizette off to pull something new. we can get these two. There we go, great. They're not the fastest runners. And the pathing is pretty weird here. They just like turn around and bump into each other a lot. There we go, we'll just hide in this pile of dead models. There we go. Get everyone attacking. We'll put this erratic model. Put it to sleep. I don't know if the game is glitching or what, but it says that it doesn't mesmerize, but yet, see, clearly mesmerized. Definitely not happy to be not mesmerized. Drizette, she could use a heal. Could have used a heal last time. We ran off the pull. We heal the duff. Is there an option to just destroy everything? Nope. It'd be really great. Let's see all this stuff we don't care about. Duff needs a heal. Get that going as soon as we get the fight on. I'd have to move. Getting too busy here. All right. 
heal the duff. I'm gonna move Terabelle over here where we can see her. She can't see it through this pile of stuff. Well, the Duff needs another heal. What's going on here? Where's that? She's not doing anything. about pulling these two. Oh, just got the one. Okay. Thought for sure that that little rat was going to show up too. That is at 58%. These guys aren't hitting for too bad. 76, 80. You get a little more taunt. From the duff, she's just not doing it right. Clear this up. All right, we got the scouring clockwork. Couldn't hit the other one. All right, this can be hard to see. Where is it? There it is. Taunt, fellow. see here we have a problem still have the other creature that we couldn't pull targeted now nobody wants to assist there we go it's always something that needs a heal I know this episode seems kind of lame. I'm not really having any fun here. I really wanted to go inside the factory. And now that we can't do that, just don't want to be out here, but don't want to spend the next hour running around. We have other things to do today. Hey, look at this guy. He's cool looking. Eroded prototype. Great. Got the aggro. Duff could use a heal. Well, 
wants to start throwing out some enchanter spells. Let's see what's going on. Get her doing something, dropping stats. Leah and Jaja, they're working on all their skills, getting a little bit better. That's great. up as many of those arrows as we can they're free we'll just get some more all right everybody's health is looking good do our taunt and our bellow I get that aggro Wow, this guy's hitting for 234? Who's this guy? This con's level 53. Great. More fun, you know? Don't need this stuff to be easy. Of course, it doesn't have to be as hard as a Kunark dragon every fight. That stuff is going to start respawning. No sense of running any further. And just getting too many on the way back. I know that's usually how it's done with this group, but we really do have to quit doing that. Tell still looking good. Got the slow going. But gotta get a little bit closer. Get that attack going. At least we have the Beast Lord pet. Doing the pet thing, so we're gonna heal Zha Zha. He was getting hit up pretty good. All right, bring this guy in. Level 49, rusted model. Starting to get a little bit too low. Too many of these light blue cons too often. The Duff's health's looking pretty good. Might as well heal her just to keep it up. Fifty-two, obsolete model. Get a little bit better at EXP. Yeah, this one's hitting mostly in the, you know, the, the high tens, so eighty, seventy. Throws in a 230 every now and again, just because.
got uh, our slashes getting up into the 200s now for the Duff. Let's heal Jaja. While I'm screwing around looking at what Jaja is attacking for, she stops attacking. There we go. Pull that in. Assist the Duff. That talk going. That's got a few hits on her. Heal her up next. Oh, the Duff. She was taking some heavy hits right there at the end. Deflective Clockwork, level 50. It'll be here. There it is. Coming around the corner. to 50% through the level. That's pretty good. Need to be working on higher level mobs. Let's heal the duff. So everyone's 57. That is the minimum level for Bastion of Thunder. So I think that where we're going next. That'd probably be a good place to just grind out to level 60. Get this corroded. Level 52. Slowly but surely it's going to get here. Like it's hard for it to make it, make around that corner. Yo. She could use a heal. Nature's at. She's hitting from the mid 50s, low 100s. Oh, Jaja, ja, she's hitting heavy. 200s, 300s? Didn't expect that. I guess a nice heavy two handed blunt seems to do the trick. Go this way. Quite a few down there. I think they're all close together, too.
maybe not having a, a run speed modifier is the best thing to do. They stay closer. and interrupted her spell casting so we don't have our listless power. I don't think it really matters. Point forty nine. Let's heal the duff. Let's go pull those two tin soldiers. Spice it up a little bit, something we cannot mesmerize. Or maybe we can. Well, these guys are higher level. Excellent. Where are these guys? 52. That's cool. Oh, they're on it. These guys aren't fooling around. Ready? Oh, and we picked up another one. Right on. All right, let's try to do it. Oh, it definitely does not mesmerize. So let's do our off tanking business. Get everyone else DPSing on this one. Take it down as fast as possible. We got the uh, scr scrounging. What was that? Yep, yep. Scrounging. Clockwork. That's put to sleep. Let's heal the duff. That's getting hit pretty good. She can take it. Put a couple dots on this thing. Fire Swarm and Drones of Doom. Put this scrounging rat back to sleep. Teal Drosette. Alright, that went. Killed that one. Didn't even know it. Too busy screwing around doing everything else. Bell needs a heal because I don't think that little rat is going to sleep. Not so. Let's heal the Terra Bell. Complete heal on Terra Bell. She's going to die. Boy, that takes a long time to go off. Let's just stand here and watch it. There we go. It went off. DPS going. All right. Terra Bell needs it. Let's just do a full group. Group vigor. Word of vigor. It's a group heal. Let's see how it does. There we go. 25% of the health that they have right now. That's pretty cool. Maybe they won't attack her as much, but I'm sure they will. Let's 
see of the duff while we're out pulling. Hey, we got another one of those prototype guys. Great, we got two. Get them go. Just running back and forth, bumping into each other. going pick that rusted model and we'll put that one to sleep excellent see it work nice and easy get that taunt up and that bellow going seal the duff or uh rosette She's too far away, she's not attacking. That's awesome. Try to get that aggro going. Stuff. These guys are coming back. Level 52 on the scrounging clockwork. Pick that obsolete model. Put it down. Perfect. Rosette gets the heal. Duff, she gets the taunt. Rosette gets knocked back pretty easy. And she takes a couple heavy hits. Healing the Duff. She gets knocked out of melee range pretty easy. Do our taunt and our bellow. Let's get attacking. Ah. See what we can do. Got to pull it back here. Great. Everyone can get on it. Let's heal the duff. Gwendolyn got hit for 246 a couple times there. She has plate armor on as well, so it's, you know she shouldn't be getting hit that hard, but. All right, I guess. Fourteen percent. Let's keep it going. Uh, 
Yeah, we don't want to pull over there. Those guys are a little bit lower. Yeah, so is this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Trash compactor banging around. Till the duff. This one's higher level. I fifty two. Yep, level fifty two. Level fifty two, you start to be able to put all your points into AA. So these guys would be pretty good, or even cons for that. that doing on her exp whoa 90 percent excellent anyone else 71 that's pretty good all right well let's head out of here we're going to head over to the bastion of thunder and that's where we're going to finish off all the way to 60 so click this and get out of here We'll get the run on over there. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to play at all today. But uh, we'll just at least get set up in the graveyard. One more to go. Excellent. I'm sure this will be another amazing example of auto follow not being amazing. So. Whoever falls off, we'll just run them in individually. And we'll pack through everyone one more time. Great. Here we go. Right over here to the left, a pile of rocks that's uh, up in the wall. All right, looks like everybody made it in. Try to stay as wide as I can. We're making a left turn a little bit.
water here, so not awesome. But at least this platform has a nice angle to the edge, so it's easier to get up. Straight ahead on this rock within the waterfall of thing, that's where the plane of storm is. And we just loop around here. Getting a little squirrely back there. They're staying tight. And this is the Bastion of Thunderstone. There we go. This requires a key to get in or level 57. Just post up in here. Those are the stairs. There's, uh, you know, basically a north, south, east, west wing. Each one has different giants, wind and stuff. I don't know. They all drop a different uh, stone and you can put it in a ring and that's a key to get up into uh, at the higher level you know section of the zone for the raids so I think uh, we'll see if we can get the ring for that get all the stones and get the rings I don't know give it Give us something to do or reason to be here aside from just grinding uh, they drop some sort of uh the gear they get the parchments which you can do the level appropriate spells so we could start to collect that stuff but i don't i don't think we're going to be here super long but we'll be here for a little bit grinding up to level 60 all right well thanks for watching have a good one